the John Evans Atamos Presidential Library in Cape Coast, a memorial and research facility which was completed and inaugurated in 2016 is yet to be put to use. The abandonment of the facility for the past six years residents of Cape Coast say represent an insult to the memories and legacy of the late president. By speaking at the news conference ahead of the Atamos Memorial Lectures in Cape Coast, Chairperson of the Committee for the Western and Central Regions, Professor Francesca Dura Dubuando indicated a lot was being done to resolve the issues surrounding it. Uh, I have been associated with the library since the sword was cut. And I remember that the government of Ghana handed over the library to the University of Cape Coast to make it part of the institutional libraries of the university. I acknowledge that the university hasn't been able to use the library because of some unresolved issues. You asked whether the heritage, Memorial Heritage, will sit down to look uh, on unconsent for the library to deteriorate uh, further. I will say that it has come to the attention of the Memorial Heritage and we believe that when the board of directors come for the lecture, they will take a trip to the place to look at it and then they will take it from there. She clarified that the lecture is being organized by the JEA Memorial Heritage and not any other institutional organization. There may be other organizations and I have heard about the institute but this program is being organized by the JEA Mills Heritage, Memorial Heritage. I also said in my, in my presentation that there have been earlier lectures. I remember very well that we have alternated with GIMPA to hold lectures to the memory of our late president. But with this heritage, which was launched just this year, I am sure very soon all other splinter groups may look forward to working together with the heritage or there will be a way for us to know who holds the, the, the not the legacy, but the link to this legacy. The lecture comes off on the 29th of June 2022 in Cape Coast. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyakon, Cape Coast.